what kinds of things would we like to adapt our story to? Well, one of them is our portfolio. Very often uh, when I see an artist's portfolio, it's literally just pictures. And words can be beautiful, whether you use typography that's beautiful or you just have an explanation that enhances it. Uh, Carolyn Edland, our sales practice area leader, used the, the example that somebody wasn't selling her art uh, at the kinds of shows she was going to. So she simply paired each art piece with a caption and the stuff started selling like hotcakes and led her right into online sales where she now makes a profitable living. And that's not her only line of art. Doesn't mean the only thing she ever makes, she, she writes words on. Uh, but it certainly became a way of sustaining her goal to produce other lines of art. And it certainly was an opportunity. Well, I'm not saying that art can't stand alone sometimes a sunset is a sunset and you don't need to write a meaningful caption below it. Like we all, you know, are bound together by this sunset. But I think in general, in our portfolios, we should do a little bit more work than just slapping the pictures on the website. If we did that, even as a photographer, it really isn't, uh, it, it means that we really haven't tried hard enough. So the portfolio is the first place I would look. Can you start captioning your work? And this example shows captioning individual work and captioning a series. So um, there's lots of ways you can caption. 